We're continuing our first room challenge series here during the Halloween event, and today we're going to be attempting to do it on Firebase C. Let's get into it. All right, here we go. Driving on in, and I still have not beaten my current personal best of round 60. And also, a few things I, I got to talk about before we really get started here. First things first, uh, you're probably noticing I'm not using a gun, and in our last episode, I said we'd be using a gun. Uh, I'm going to get to that, but it's hard not to play on Firebase C here in the first room and like not use the size like the whole reason i use these things is for this jump right here please hit it oh let's go so we can make it up here and that brings me to another thing that i want to address before we get too far into this first let's go over what a first room challenge is you know first room challenge and no doors challenge kind of kind of the same thing they kind of intertwine so we, with that in mind if we're saying that the first room challenge and the no door challenge are the same thing it's all right if we come up here and we go through this portal and also this kind of gives us access if we come over here is that i can buy this gallo and i'm gonna do that i'm gonna go ahead and apply a custom mod to it there we go but firebase c is one of the more weird first room challenges that we've done uh, we do have quick revive over here. We don't need to get power on to use it so we can grab that whenever. There's no limit on how many quick revives you can get. So technically, this should be the easiest one. But also, this has like some of the weirdest like spawn layout for a first room. Like I, I tend to struggle a little bit on the first room in this map. We've done this a few times doing like last man standing challenges. And I think we get elites more frequently on this map than we do on others, uh, except for maybe Forsaken. Forsaken, you get a lot of elites at once. On Mauer, you don't really see a crazy amount. You get like a disciple or, or a few every like three rounds or something. Most of the time it's just zombies or like one panzer out. But here on Firebase, we're gonna be seeing a lot of mimics, a lot of manglers. It's gonna be rough out here. But I'm gonna go ahead and grab Quick Revive. And on the Gallo, I added some of the attachments like the Ember Sighting Point and I think my Duckbill Choke. I can't remember what choke I have. But those are attachments that should be able to drop more salvage and equipment for us. So we should be good in that department. Hopefully we'll have enough to buy a self-revive if we ever need one. And as for our wonder weapons on this map, we really only have one. It's just the Ray K. And if, if you guys have been following along for a while, I'm not the biggest fan of the Ray K. I think it's kind of annoying to constantly have to switch like firing modes to use it, like shooting down the noob tube version, switching back to the bullet version and shooting that. Like it's really repetitive. So I'm going to try to use this Gallo for as long as I can. And I think it's going to be pretty difficult to get rid of these size, especially if I start using the helicopter area up here like through the portal. So I kind of want to hold off on using the Ray K for as long as I can, unless I can come up with some strat where switching the ammo type doesn't feel as annoying and where I'm like just grinding through rounds. Actually, I might have an idea. So this could be a really good spot that we can use. Like I showed you guys earlier, me coming over here and grabbing the gallo off this wall over here. But this could be a good place to sit and grind rounds because we only have one zombie spawn right here. The zombies can't come through these doors. Even if they spawn behind me, they're gonna have to jump up and go around and down the stairs so i could start setting up in here you know what that, i think that's what i'm gonna do i think that'll appease some people who won't be happy with me oh using the size during the first room challenge because i'm still not leaving the first room i'm just using parts of it that i'm you know maybe shouldn't be at oh our first jack-o-lantern and it's a mimic it's always a mimic the first one why what's the point but my plan here is i'm gonna take some toxic gross and put them down in this area right here i put them up a little further but then zombies are gonna be up here taking damage from them and i'm gonna lose them but at least if i put them here I can slow some zombies down. I can get some damage on them. So it's not just the toxic growth taking like the brunt of all the the damage. And I can throw some out on them as well. Quick little aether tool. We'll take that. And a napalm burst. What was I talking about? I get so sidetracked so easily. But I think with my method of putting the toxic growths over here, I'll be able to make them last longer. No Viagra or whatever. You know what? This could be good for us. I think we, we developed the most optimal first room strat here on Firebase C already. And I'm also debating putting some of the toxic growth down here. So maybe having one here on the steps, one above me on the steps, it gives me a little bit of time to think and prioritize which side I want to shoot at. I'm not going to lie. I was a little nervous for this challenge at first since I haven't been doing too well on them, but now I'm kind of excited. I wasn't expecting to use this strat. It kind of just came to me you know, midway through this. And I hope it, you know, goes far. I want to be able to like, beat my personal best. I'm starting to see an issue here with not being able to reload fast enough. That max ammo kind of saved us a little bit, but 
It takes forever to reload this gallo. And it's kind of concerning. Oh, finally a chalice. Let's go. All right, so in an effort to try not to be indecisive, because I know I, I can be a lot with choosing my field upgrade, I'm going to use Toxic Growth until probably round 20. But it gives me time to, you know, build up some scrap, get a few jack-o'-lantern drops, all that good stuff, and then... Once it starts getting a little difficult, maybe even a little before round 20, I'm going to switch to Ring of Fire. So I feel like once one of these toxic growths breaks and I have to reload or something, I'm just dead. Like, I, I have nothing to save me. So I'm going to try to take advantage of the weaker and slower zombies in these earlier rounds. Squeeze as much out of them as I can. And then we'll go from there. And what do we got here? Brain Rot? Uh, do I want Brain Rot? Yeah, we'll try Brain Rot. Brain Rot actually might be just what we needed. Because this guy... He's going to go and get a few kills for us. He's going to run up here. Oh, never mind. He's actually freaking the hell out. But in a perfect world, this zombie's going up here and he's holding down the zombies trying to push from above. But I guess right now he's just holding it down downstairs. What we got here? Dang, a cruise missile? Actually, kind of goaded. Give me that. We have uh, our own little oh shit button. And we did just get past round 20. So it's time to change my field upgrade to Ring of Fire. So we'll see how long these toxic growths can last. I just put a fresh one down on these stairs. So it'll probably uh, be gone in the next round or two. And uh, both of our toxic growths on both sides are gone. And I just got my first Ring of Fire. Let's try it out. Not the most optimal placement, but it is hitting both the stairs. This is scary. I don't know how much I like this. I felt a little safer with the toxic growth. Uh-oh. 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 We're getting into some hot water here. Ooh. Another stun. Go. I'm stone stuns. Okay, this spot is not safe for me. I'm hitting the cruise missile. I'm letting all these zombies know that I'm leaving. I'm out of there. Okay, so ring of fire. Not our best bet. Maybe we should go back to our toxic growth. Or maybe wait and see how it is with the Ray K. Because I feel like with the Ray K, that spot's going to be a lot better. As for right now, not the best. Oh, we finally got the Ray K drop. Just need these zombies to kind of uh, fuck off real quick. Let's pick that up. And is there any chalices anywhere? Oh, we got two brain rotted elites. What's going on, fellas? Oh, and there's a gold chalice right there. Perfect. All right, well... I guess it's time to try out our little spot with the Ray K. Let's throw this down. Switch ammo types. Okay, so it looks like that does get everything in here. But it is annoying as fuck. And maybe this is not the safest option out here. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Chill. Get the fuck away from me. Oh, Shatter Blast. Oh, Shatter Blast. You're crazy. Please reload. All right, yeah, this spot that I was kind of excited about, not the greatest. No idea how I survived that. I really should have died. In any other round, I, I will die there. Okay, well, we need a new strategy because uh, Ring of Fire is not it. Which one of these is going to help me? Aether Shroud? I guess. Let's switch to Aether Shroud. This is pretty unfortunate, but it looks like we might just have to give up on our spot in there. I don't know what I can do to make it work. Maybe like Frenzied Guard or something? Like something to get armor back and slow the zombies down? But then when I don't have it, I'm just dead. Like, it, it really relies heavily on me having whatever field upgrade. Because in the later rounds, as much as I like toxic growth, those things just go away so fast with the amount of zombies that come in that they're going to be disappearing before I can put another one up. So if you guys can find a way to, like, optimize that strat, let me know, because I'd be down to try it again. No, no, Aether Shroud. Shit, that was close. We've made it to round 30. We're at the halfway point of my personal best, and we've been yet to beat it. Today is going to be the day. How does that not... Okay. I was about to be mad if that Mimic didn't die from that. I was about to go on a rant about how the Ray K is bad. How even when it's charged up, it can't kill a fucking Mimic. Ooh. Oh, what? No, these Mimics actually survived it. This thing's ass. How are they surviving the fucking noob tube shot up noob tube version of it? Watch how many normal bullets of this Ray K it takes to kill this Mangler. Ready? Shooting in the head. Damn near a whole clip. Why? This is a wonder weapon. Why don't it act like one? Even with insta-kill, this thing hardly does damage. The Mangler's just eating shots. Walmart-ass wonder weapon. What the fuck was that? That's also another reason why I hate this wonder weapon. I'm sitting there shooting at the noob to a version and it just fucking does nothing. Fucking wish.com wonder weapon. All right, we've made it to round 40. Oof. This is getting difficult. Ooh! Stay away from me. Damn. 
No mimic? Bad. Bad mimic. Woo! Almost took me out, you little fucker. Oh, gotta do it again. Well, there goes all my Aether Shrouds. Oh, shit! No! Oh, that's our first down of the day. Uh, can a zombie get close to me? This mangler is like frozen in time. Come on. There we go. Let me get quick revive right back. And we're good. It's almost like nothing happened. But it took us till round 41 to go down. And we recovered. Most of the time, or at least what happened in Mowers, I just went down and the game ended. I could not get a self revive back or anything. So glad we can still keep going here. All right. I think I've started to develop a strat. What I've been doing is train around a little bit. Wait until they're kind of in a, a nice little pack. And then I shoot down the Ray K noob tube, come over here, and then take them out. But we've had a few close calls from uh, my lackadaisical training. But for the most part, it's been working pretty good. I think I might have found some... All right, never mind. I take it all back. I might just be stupid. I mean, there's no debating that, but I think I found a pretty good spot. Yeah, regardless of what you just saw of me going down, I think this spot over here might work out pretty good. Mango, please just die for me. You bitch. You're a fat bitch. All right, well, we made it to uh, round 50. You know, a few scratches here and there. We're getting two downs back to back. But from what I'm seeing, if I don't go all the way up these stairs, zombies don't come from behind me. So if I can kind of develop a strat to where I'm just shooting down the noob tubes and destroying those, I might be able to just take out like a whole round sitting there. But me going down like pretty early into like me talking about it, a little concerning. So I'm going to need to do some tests. And by that, I mean, hopefully just not die when I try it right here. So let me do that. Switch to that. Shoot a little there. And it didn't blow up. Okay, I'm leaving. Maybe we try again. Let's do it a little further up. That one worked. Let's try one more. Shoot a little right there. Grab that max ammo while we're at it. Try again. This mimic has taken two, three of them. See, this wonder weapon does absolutely nothing against elites. It's ridiculous. But I got three of them off right there. With zero zombies coming from behind me, I might be onto something. No! No way you're gonna run away from me after that. All right, well, at least there's only two things in the round. So I can self-revive, buy another one. That's our first self-revive buy of the day, and it took till round 52. That's not bad. No! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to buy another one. All right, well, just to be safe, I'm running for quick revive first. I swear if I die with only two things on the fucking ground right now, it's literally only this mimic and mangler. They're trying to double team me. Stay back. All right. Damn. When it rains, it fucking pours. No way. We're down again. Damn. Uh, I'm gonna have to aether shroud and pick up. Quick revive again. It's getting tough out here. Round 50 and up is no joke. I swear the rest of the time, the strat works like flawlessly. But you guys are only seeing when I go down. The other times I'm just like not talking and gaming hard focusing. Shit. No. Ooh, we got right back up. Damn. Whew. Oh, cashmere. Let's go. Perfect. Take him out. Fuck him up. Shit. I swear the spot's not bad. I swear the strat's not bad. I am just bad. And I'm throwing hard. Let's grab our self-revive back. All right. Where are we at now? Eight downs. Okay. So it took until like round 40 something for us to go down once. And now it's just spiraled and snowballed. Without quick revive, we would have uh, we would have lost this challenge already. But hold on. Let me try to get this to where I can show you guys the strat working. I've just been kind of like jumping around. I'll go over here. Wait a second. Jump over here. Jump onto this. See where the zombies are going. Kind of just jump over the railings and then shoot one down. Have them eat that. Sometimes I throw nades down to try to help with doing some damage to the elites because they don't really uh, take too much damage from this Ray K. You know, I, I, I've i been uh, pretty abdomen about that. Oh, fuck. And then we ate their shot when things get rough. But we have made it to health cap round 55. This is where the rampage induce will return off once we finish this round. Good thing we don't have that on because I'm struggling as it is. Oh, shit. Shit in my ass. Ooh, fuck. All right, I'm out of here. Oh, okay, no, I'm not. Any zombie want to run by me and get stabbed real quick, huh? Anyone? Any zombie at all. Don't be shy. I don't want to use the self-revive. I want to kind of hang on to this bad boy. Hey, look, me and you, zombie, we're the same. We're both over here crawling. You might be a little faster. Please don't leave me. <laughs> Come back. No! All right, well, going to have to use the self-revive. Then I'm going to have to Aether Shroud. 
I have to buy it back immediately. Can the Aether Shroud last long enough for us to get Quick Revive back? It does? Cool. All right. Well, as long as we have an Aether Shroud, we're chilling. This could be the run, though. Now that I'm talking about it, probably jinxing the shit out of it. I'm going to knock on wood right now, but I think we might be able to beat our PB this time. At least this is the best chance we have at it. Holy shit. No. I'm fumbling this whole game, but I had to just talk about, oh, this might be the run. I just got to play silently. Oh, no way. That's a nuke. These three zombies. Guess what? Fuck yourselves. Get out of here. Armor, please. Nope. All right. We're raw dogging these rounds. The zombies might be too fast for the strat now. I can't do it. Why does nobody have armor? Somebody drop me armor. That's all I want. Is that too much to ask for? Just a wee bit? Just a, a tiny little bit? Just a taste? Fuck! Oh, shit. Let's uh, cruise missile. Nope, let's just go down again is what I meant to say. Yeah, it's, it's kind of kind of funny how similar those sound. Um, Let's get quick revive back and let's continue to keep going down. All, all I've heard this round is gonna need a little revive. That's literally the only thing I've heard. Okay, I think the strat now is to shoot down two of the noob tubes before I start trying to blow up one of them. And then another one to exit. These zombies are way too fast. They won't even fucking blow up anymore. What the hell? So I'm shooting one down here, one up here. I'm shooting the one that's further away and it don't fucking blow up. That kind of ruins the whole purpose of the weapon if it don't do what it's supposed to do, don't you think? Maybe I'm because I'm shooting it on the stairs. If I get the one on the ground here, does it do anything? No, after round 55, the gun just decides, eh, I'm done working. Okay, round 60. So if 60 is my PB, I'm pretty sure it is. Then we've tied it. We need to get to 61 to beat it. And I'm trying to set it. So hopefully we can get to 69 at the minimum. Oh! Well, going down again. But we get we get back up. And we're going to go down again. Fun. I'm going to self-revive while this thing's going off. We're going to grab that. We're going to eat the shroud now. And there's my 15th self-revive of this game. I don't know if it's actually been 15, but not far off. Because I am at 20 deaths. Fuck me, dude. Stay on two feet challenge. Level impossible. What the fuck? I was in Aether Shroud, you little bitch. Okay, well, we all know Aether Shroud does not make you invincible, but that mangler is a little bitch for shooting in my direction while I was in it. Just want to put that out there. But we only have one zombie left to beat our PB, and we have beat it. Let's go. Now, it's been looking rough out here. Uh, I have been going down like four times around now if we can somehow make it to round 69 i'll be happy if not i'm happy with what we already got but we, i could be happier fucking cock dickhole it's just gonna be like a compilation of me saying random ass butthole and dick terms when i go down let me through you big bitch bitch cocksucker Oh, shit in my ass. I've gone down 35 times this game. 35. We're on round 66. At this point, we're we're on pace to completely have more downs than rounds that we've played, which is not at all the, the slightest bit surprising to me. Ooh, we're one round away from the forbidden round, the holy round. We're almost there. I think this is it right here. Round 69. Oh, wait, no, there's still one more zombie. Oh, maybe two. Maybe three. There we go. We did it. We made it to the forbidden round, round 69. We still have not left through the teleporter. Still a first room challenge, even if we did use the size to get up and around. We're doing it. And now that we finished round 69, let's do a quick little check-in. I've gone down 41 times. So it's safe to say on any other map, I would have died about a year ago. But Quick Vive has been carrying the shit out of me. Not to suck my own cock or nothing, but we've made it pretty far. I mean, if we ignore the downs, this has been a pretty impressive first room challenge. You're a bitch, Mangler. You know that? Come here. No, 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 no. You're not about to knock me and walk away, motherfucker. Okay, maybe you will. I'm not going to be happy about it. Does not look like it. All right, well, can I afford another self-revive? No, I need a thousand. I'm at 560. So we're leaning on quick revive for the rest of this game. Unless I can somehow get enough blue salvage to get another quick revive, but I don't know. All right, it's been a few rounds, but I finally saved up enough for a self revive. Just barely. Oh my lanta. They cost a thousand fifty now. No? Okay. 
I am just going down constantly now. How many downs are we at? 53. Give it up for 53. Oh, shit. We're going down again. Can we get back up, though? Not looking like we can with self-revive or quick revive. So I'm just going to hit this nuke and then I'm going to hit my self-revive. Do I have enough? No, I definitely don't have enough to buy another one. Shit. Back to saving up for a self-revive, I guess. Do I finally have enough for another self-revive? I think I do. It cost 1100 now. Jeez. We did it. We made it to round 80. This is not nearly where I expected to go to. I thought I was going to make it to like round 40 and die. We've about doubled that but we have gone down 57 times so i mean take that with a grain of salt well there's another down that was smart of me sit there try to pick up a fucking item on the steps so i might have to waste the self revive that we just got unless i can crawl all the way over to these zombies this crawling's taking forever we're almost there there we go perfect motherfucker all right never mind we're back up and we're down again the classic right back up though because we're gamers and an insta kill this is perfect it's exactly what i'm looking for okay maybe it's not well now i have to use a self revive so i don't have quick revive i also don't have uh the aether shroud so we're gonna do what we always do and we don't got it quick little cashmere on them let's stand right next to it and make sure all the zombies walk into it and then we're back on our grind no Ooh, this is not good. Come here, zombie. Somebody come here. Shit. Can I drop down from here or am I stuck? I'm stuck. No, 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 no. All right, I need to crawl over to something right now. So I only have quick revive. I do not have a self revive. This might be the end of the road. This is fucked up. I went down in the worst possible spot and now I'm paying for it. This sucks. Well, <laughs> might as well go over my stats here while I'm slowly bleeding out. Uh, almost 10,000 kills, not even a thousand crits, not even 500, and 62 downs. Damn, round 80 is not bad. 62 downs is kind of bad. 